Welcome back to Itchy Feet Guide. Today, we'll be walking from Guildford High Street along the riverway to St. Catherine's Hill, where you'll find the ruins of a 14th century chapel before making a loop back into town. St. Catherine's is roughly about a mile away from Guildford town, so it's perfect if you're not looking to walk too far away and yet still want to enjoy the beautiful scenery that the riverway has to offer. You might even learn a little bit about the history of Guildford too. You'll even find out how Guildford got its name. There's a few ways to get to St. Catherine's Hill, but by far the most scenic is along the River Way. We'll be heading that way towards Godalming, just south of Guildford. Horse-drawn barges used to transport goods to and from London along the River Way. If you look carefully at some of the bridges on the River Way, you can still see the rope rollers that were once installed that protects the bridge from the grinding of the tow rope. As you can see here. One interesting thing about St. Catherine's Hill is that during a recent landslip repair back in 2020, road workers actually found a mysterious medieval cave containing what appeared to be decorative niches or shrines, together with carved initials and other symbols. No one knows for sure exactly what these caves were for. Some believe there was a private religious residence or maybe a medieval shrine. Whatever it is, this area is currently sealed off. And when you arrive at this funny looking bridge, make a right turn up. This is actually Artington Spring, which flows directly into the River Way. Spring water has numerous health benefits. Back in the 1930s, a local magazine claimed that this water had magical medicinal properties that can cure ailments of the eyes. But I can't see where they got that from. If you feel the ground shaking during your time here, don't panic. The trains to and from London, to and from Guildford, actually goes right underneath St. Catherine's Hill. And for you train geeks out there, here on Ferry Lane, it's a good place to see trains zoom past right underneath your feet. Talking about tracks, this is a little bit off the beaten track and a quiet place to hang out on a sunny afternoon. We're now on top of St. Catherine's Hill, where we'll be rewarded with excellent views of the Surrey landscape and the ruins of a 14th century chapel. You can even see the Guildford Castle Keep from here. Let's go. The chapel was associated with the St. Nicholas Church in Guildford and was built so that people who lived outside of Guildford had a place nearby where they could worship. An annual five-day fair took place here during the medieval period, which would have generated a significant amount of income for the parish over the centuries.
Although initially it was a commercial fair, dealing mainly with livestock and household goods, it became more and more recreational as hops were grown locally and were sold to the brewers. The Sunday before the fair was known as Tap Up Sunday, and anyone with or without a license can sell alcohol here. You can imagine how rowdy and rough it must have been. Which is why the fair was stopped. One of Britain's most famous romantic painters, William Turner, whose face you can find on the back of a 20 pound note, such as this one, has actually painted both the chapel and the fair from his boat on the way. There's a pub conveniently located just around the corner, but we're gonna head back down Ferry Lane to complete our loop. We're now at the bottom of Ferry Lane, named after the ferry that used to shuttle pilgrims across the river here. It's as part of the Pilgrim's Way from Winchester to Canterbury. It's still a very popular walking route to explore the spectacular scenery that the Southeast England has to offer. Although the ferry is no longer in operation, we now have a footbridge in its place. So walkers won't have to make a detour all the way into town in order to continue the journey. If you'd like to know more about this epic 153-mile route covering spectacular scenery, picturesque villages and glorious countrysides, we've left links in our description below. Before we head back into town, there's just one more place I'd like to show you. Remember in the previous episode, we said Guildford means golden sand. And just beyond the footbridge, you can see the golden sand flowing down from St. Catherine's Hill, which gave Guildford its name. The shallow waters at the Golden Ford here have provided a safe passage for travellers to cross the river, either via the ferry, as we talked about earlier, or this very modern-day footbridge. If you continue on down the towpath, you'll eventually reach Godalming, which is another historic market town. But today, we're going to head on back to Guildford. There we have it, a spectacular walk along the riverway and a quick visit to St. Catherine's Hill. Hopefully we've shown you another great place to visit next time you're in Guildford. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and consider subscribing if you enjoyed our stuff as well for more videos just like this and many more to come. Until next time, stay itchy. <laughs>